Hello everyone, welcome back to LEGO Bay City. We're now back with another overview of one of the mocks in our LEGO City. We have here the corner building of the Winter Village set which has been turned into just the music store and the toy store but not in the winter theme. So I initially created two mocks for this one in winter version and all throughout that time I was contemplating on whether to move it to the city or not because it offered a lot of more of the city style structure than the actual winter village sets. So if you could remember, we have Santa's visit, we have the elf clubhouse, we have the winter cabin, and even the Harry Potter sets like the Broomsticks, um, Hogsmeade Village, uh, they're more of the winter style than the Main Street was, actually. Which led me into thinking of transferring it into the city rather than the Winter Village set. Now, this one doesn't have instructions, mainly because it has a lot of extra parts. Like, I've almost taken out a a half of the set itself and poured in a lot of different pieces from different sets as well as from uh, pick a brick uh, walls which ended up with this combination right here um, as you know my city layout has different uh, roads going around the city and I really also want to always create corner build it, buildings um, because I do like them. Uh, they present a lot of uh, good aesthetics, a lot of uh, curb value, a lot of facade and opportunities to um, feature different styles and techniques for buildings. So this one is no exception. Uh, I mainly focused on making sure that the two buildings sort of uh, are still combined but are on their own. They're not uh, too similar to each other that um, you think they are just one building. You could see that this is just two buildings attached to each other. So for this part here, the main thing that I changed was creating this design on the sides of the building to sort of put a frame on it. The ground floor is already very similar or almost just a copy of the one that is from the main street. We have the dark red uh, frames for the windows and you have the dark green doors and details on the lower part of the windows. I didn't remove this part because I can still see it being in an area where you have those designs, even though they are more of the winter sets. But for me, I just wanted to keep that part here. For the windows, I changed it and made it look bigger. Um, I used dark brown, or sorry, reddish brown rather than uh, what came with the set are, the, I think the dark green windows which I would end up using for something else. I also made sure that I utilized a lot of the sticker pieces even at the windows. You have those uh, uh, new 50% off. I have this uh, guitar lesson here which is now going to uh, Julie's music store. We have here a nice um, sticker piece from the Main Street set. And I wanted to also still create this feature which is the same as what the Main Street had before. But I didn't want it to have the winter uh, white snow on the floor or on the ground. So I paved it up all throughout. And then I added this portion here, which would be mainly the staircase that leads up to the upper level. Now, you will see later on in the interior how 
each building uh, is integrated uh, so that you'll be able to maximize the space that we have for each building. Now here you have almost very clean, I guess. Um, there are some minor pieces here and there, but overall I like the structure that is here right now in terms of uh, having um, this backyard here with some broom and uh, dust pan and then also the bin and then all the, the door now let's go and look at the interiors okay so for the ground floor of the toy store we have here a lot of the different available toys where you have um, tanks houses robots um, figures uh, action figures um, play guns and swords and even um, controllers for your games we also have trains and then here's the cash register so overall this portion here is just uh, full of different toys that uh, kids can buy and then you have the stairs that lead up to the upper level now you might think oh there's not much um, stuffed toys here but uh, it's dependent on the available parts that i have and i don't have too many of the uh, teddy bears or the bunnies that i could put here but maybe later on i could add to them as i collect more of those parts on the music store first off on each side of the window we do have a drum set and then here we have a, a saxophone and then we have guitars and then a piano and then i had a lot of printed or sticker pieces for different um, music related photos or pictures or images and here we have lots of different sticker pieces that I would consider as um, vinyl records so this is not just for instruments but also for records and there's actually a player underneath the stairs so the cash uh, cashier could check it out and also the customers could listen to it to make sure that uh, it works but overall I like being able to use the printed pieces especially these Hogwarts tiles that are not being able to utilize in other um, creations so they're finding a use here um, and then it's just a matter of uh, creating something that I can use uh, for uh, the different sticker pieces that I've accumulated uh, all throughout this um, time. And then also here we have the stairs that lead up to the upper level. So we'll now go to the second level. So as you go up the stairs on the second level of the toy store, there are more toys. <laughs> As of course, uh, you have here a big helicopter. And then here is a diorama or a play set with a train. And then you have some houses, you have a tunnel that leads into the mountain and then leads back out. There's also a bridge where you have a waterway there. And then here you have sort of like a different style or different scale castle which is harry potter and then of course here you have more toys of uh, tanks and houses that uh, the kids could buy or even their parents or other adult collectors so we don't have a lot of space here but i think i've maximized this where we could feature something different where you you could see them in a proper toy store and then be able to sort of like imagine that yeah, this is like in a hobby store 
where you would find those things. On this side now, on top of uh, the music store is the kitchen and dining area of the house. So uh, most of the houses or the buildings that I try to create have residential areas on the upper levels. And this one is no different because even though this one has a small piano here, and then you have a telephone, and then you have here the dining area and the kitchen combined together. So this one is still a toy store, but this one has now turned into part of the main house. So I have here a mixer where they're making up like for pancakes or cakes. And then you have there the uh, kettle. And then, of course, also the kitchen sink. And um, this one would probably be the stove over there. This one is the refrigerator here. Or maybe that one is the refrigerator. <laughs> uh, but overall, this one is what the second level looks like. This one is also just separate like this. Let me do that. So you can still move or remove either floor without having to change the rest or of the building. Now for the third floor, we have of course the bedroom here, which is quite big, occupying the whole level. And of course, we won't forget the bathroom. There's a toilet and the shower and the sink. Although I've not been able to put a soap or some other additional details. I'll have to go back and fill those details in. But this portion here is what comes with the Main Street set. I just added this area here and then also a ladder here that leads up to the rooftop. On the other side, of course, is another bedroom. This one is a little bit smaller, but it still has uh, some free space here. If you guys have an idea of what I could put in that area, please let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I've not had much thought on what to put in that part so that it won't be wasted. But right here, of course, we still have another small bathroom you have the toilet the kitchen sink oh, sorry the kitchen sink <laughs> the sink oh my goodness <laughs> and then um, the shower as well very similar in style but smaller than this one as you know i would always want to put at least one toilet in one house uh, the only issue that i have with this one is that it doesn't have a kitchen or a dining area so it's more of like just a bedroom. Um, we could imagine that uh, these two building owners are related or they could be just like a, a small family where you they would still be able to utilize the kitchen and dining on this building on the second floor here. So they just would go on this side and sleep and utilize this bedroom. Maybe I could create an opening, but nah, I'm too lazy. <laughs> or here, maybe here, uh, I'd place a door here and then put another door here and put a connecting balcony. Hmm. I just got that idea right now. Hmm. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Uh, but as of now, I'm happy with this setup. Now let's put up the final portion which is the roof here we have a rooftop typical to uh, my design you have a rooftop garden with a little bit of um, some seating area and chairs and tables so that uh, minifigs can enjoy the view of the city on top of their buildings now we have here sort of like an exhaust or an AC part of the building. And then if we add this portion here, and then this part here, 
that completes our corner building. There we go. So guys, there we have it. The corner building for the toy store and the music store. Um, I do apologize that I don't have instructions for this one. Unfortunately, I cannot create the different all the different instructions uh, for every building that I uh, build on freehand. I just don't have enough time. And this one does require a lot of parts that are not included in the set, which makes it harder to build and harder to um, collect in terms of the parts. So if you got the idea uh, just by watching this video, you could try it out for yourself. Um, I cannot guarantee, I couldn't say yes or no, but there's always a possibility. But for now, I don't intend on creating instructions for this one unless I have a big amount of free time, which is ugh, technically not possible. <laughs> um, every day is always busy with so many things, personal and work-related stuff. But Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, I hope you got some ideas for your own creations. And if you have some suggestions for this one or for other of the buildings that I have in my city, please let me know in the comments down below. Until next time, guys. Bye.